love. So today we're going to do my current beauty favorites. There isn't a ton, but there definitely are some newer items that I have been loving. I have Luna in my lap right now. Bring her up to say hi. Ooh. So this is going to be super casual, but we're just going to chat and talk about some of my favorite products that I have been loving. Obviously, of course, please leave down below your favorite products you're loving right now because I would love to hear what you're into. Um, we are going to have a quick heart to heart before we get into this favorites video. So if you don't really want to hear about my personal life or anything like that, go ahead and jump to whatever time it says right here on the screen to just get to the favorites. Um, but before that, we're just going to chat for a second. But I just wanted to have a quick heart to heart to you guys because I haven't been in my comment section quite as much lately. I I think it's just the life changes um, going on in my life. Um, I, I don't want to cry, so I'm going to try really hard not to cry. Uh, but I have just been kind of an emotional mess lately. And if you follow me on Twitter, you've seen that um, a little bit on Instagram. If you know me in real life, you've definitely seen it. Um, I keep having, I don't know if they're panic attacks or anxiety attacks or what's going on, but I've had two in the last week. Um, one happened while I was at school, which was super embarrassing. It was great. Um, but thank God my amazing, amazing friends were there with me and my instructor is so understanding. It's just, I'm so blessed. Um, I felt super unprofessional, but like I literally could not control it. But yeah, um, I'll touch base on some stuff soon, but I just wanted to let you guys know what's going on and I'm doing my very best to keep up with my three videos a week. But if one's like missing, I totally just like my brain hasn't been a hundred percent here. My brain's been, I always have my brain in like 800 places, but lately it's just gone. <laughs> it's just gone. Um, so I'm just really focusing on school and I'm almost done. I'm done next month, which I think is part of what's freaking me out, uh, to be 100% honest with you. And then there's some personal stuff that I'm not going to go into on my channel just yet. Um, I'm sure I'll touch base on stuff soon, but just know that I love you. <laughs> And I'm not going to cry because I've cried way too much in the last couple days. But everything's okay. I'm okay. Everything's okay. It's just, I'm an emotional person. I have always been that way. <laughs> and I can't help it. Um, but I love you guys so much. And I will catch up on comments soon. But I just wanted you guys to be aware. And I just wanted to be open. Because I love you guys so much. And you've been there for so much of my life. <sighs> I'll get through this. I'm going to catch my breath and then get on to these favorites, okay? <laughs> um, but the first thing, ooh, I just got blue eyeshadow all over this. But this guy, I had used this as like a first impression in that video, but I have legit used this Cover FX Perfector face palette every single day since. I've just been reaching for it. It's a really nice soft contour. Like this is such a soft contour for me. You guys know that I'm like, I go ham. I go ham. So this is just like super soft. I love everything in it. Like I love that there's the brightener shade because normally I would look at these highlights and be like, I can't wear those. Those aren't going to work for me, but I'm actually wearing both of them with the brightener on top. And that just makes it so much more fair friendly. And I feel like so many skin tones can use this, this palette. Um, the contour shade can be built up. It is really soft, which is nice. It blends out really nicely. It's got kind of a pink undertone. So it kind of just looks like blush. And then I do really like the blush, but I have been feeling glowy blushes lately. As you guys know, I love a glow. I just want to glow everywhere. So I have um, a Shop Miss A Lumi blush in delicate pink, I think on right now, but everything else is from this palette. I also love using this guy like over my blush. The finishing powder is just like a powder with just a little bit of a tint, but it's not really anything. It just kind of gives a glow to the skin. It's hard to swatch and see, so I'm not gonna bother. Uh, but this is just such a good palette. Such a good palette. I'm so thankful to have it. I got this in my BoxyCharm. Yeah, it's just beautiful, this brightener shade. You can see there's like actually a dip in it already because uh, I'm using a crazy amount of it. I wish the brightener shade was larger, um, but that's okay. That's okay. This is beautiful. I just really, I really, really like it. I'm a huge fan. And I got to clean it now because I used blue eyeshadow it clearly and I got it all over everything. I've got a couple lip products for you right here. I don't know. I don't think either one actually has a name on it. They're both from the, is it Modern Metals? Modern Metals Collection. This is the matte. I wore this in the tutorial. Again, a lot of these items I tried for the first time like a week and a half ago and I'm, I've literally been using them nonstop. This guy I've been using for longer though. This guy's been around for a while, but I've worn this probably four times and for me to wear a color other than a nude, girl, you know that I like it. So I'll swatch them for you real quick. So this guy, I, again, I don't know what it's called. It doesn't have a name, but I think it's the only matte from the 
Modern Metals collection. My only thing with this is if you eat, it's gonna come off. And once I wear it for a while, it comes off like right on the inner part of my lip. My lip line is like pretty far out. So when I put it on, like you can see, part of the reason why I love nudes again is because like you can see. <laughs> It's like right there, so you can really see when I'm wearing a darker shade, the lip line. Um, but this color is just so beautiful that I don't even mind. I don't even mind putting it on and on again. I don't. It's just so different. It's like a burnt orange red, but it's just, I don't know. I feel like it like brings out the orange in my eyes when I wear it, and I just love it. And then this is just a super, super shimmery, glittery gloss that is so beautiful. So beautiful. Hopefully you'll be able to see. It's got like a gold tint to it. Oh, you can see that reflection though. So, so pretty. It just kind of faintly smells like vanilla, I think. No huge scents. I don't think, I don't think this one has a scent either. No, not really a scent at all. Uh, but I just really, really like these. I feel like, whew, I'm just super impressed with this liquid lipstick from e.l.f. When I wore it, I got a lot of compliments on it. Every time I've worn it, like you guys have been like, what's on your lips? What are you wearing? But two thumbs up for me, way to go e.l.f. We're gonna talk about another item that I cannot stop wearing. I can't stop wearing this. I'm obsessed with this palette. I love ColourPop shadows. They are some of the most pigmented, most blendable, just perfect. Just like they hit all the marks for me when it comes to shadows. And what's, ooh, there's a piece of lash on this. That's cute. Sorry. <laughs> um, what really hits the mark for me on this one is that not only is there like everything you, you need? The only thing is like this peachy shade is so pigmented that I can't use it as a brow bone highlight. That's what I thought it was going to be. And I put it up there. And because I'm so fair, it was like, that's a lot, girl. That's a lot. So it's a super shock shadow in a pressed palette, which is so cool. It's got a ton of silver glitter in it. When you put it on your lid, like you can really see the glitter. It's hard to, you can just kind of see a major sheen. And then this guy, ugh. The most beautiful multi-dimensional glitter. Like it's got all different sizes in there. It's not gonna swatch as perfectly. Oh, that's a pretty decent swatch. Um, I just want you guys to be able to see how gorgeous that glitter is. And there's very minimal fallout. There is some fallout, but because it's a pressed glitter, I'm able to just kind of pack it on the lid and then just kind of blend it out and sweep away any that has fallen out. And it usually stays pretty well. You can, of course, use a glitter glue. Let me swatch this other glitter for you. It's beautiful. This one just has, I think, one size of glitter in it, but it's just this really beautiful golden shade. Oh, so pretty. And then, of course, the mattes are just amazing. I feel like I have been using, this has been my go-to on the daily. I've probably worn this look four or five times in the last couple weeks. So I put this guy in the transition and then I mix these peaches in the crease and then I deepen with these two mix, like just on the outer V. And then I will put either this guy on the lid or I'll put this guy on the lid. Just put like a matte powder. Like sometimes I use my physician's formula mineral correcting powder and translucent on my lid just as like a, a light matte base and it works wonderful. I'll swatch some of these for you. There are some beautiful, beautiful shimmers in here too. I'll also go in with this guy in the crease a lot too. I love this mustardy yellow. It's cool because it's got like, it just works so well with all of the shades. It's got kind of an orangey, orangey tint to it. I just want to swatch them all because it's so pretty. You can see there is the one that looks like it would be kind of a matte cream shade, but it's definitely peachy. I'll just swatch a few more. And then these burnt, look at the pigment on that. Did you see how they're tiny pans? So it's just, but they are just so gorgeous. This palette completely exceeded any expectations. Look at those mattes. Look at those mattes. Girl, girl, this palette is just insane. I feel like it's so beautiful, such a staple. I know people have been talking about it, but I feel like it's almost underrated. Like it's such a good mix of shades and it's such a good like spring palette, but I feel like it'll work for summer. It'll work for fall. Like this, this is a good palette. It's a really good palette. ColourPop killed it. 10 out of 10. Those glitters, the only thing that can make it better is if there was a mirror inside, but then it would have to be more expensive. I think this guy retailed for 18 bucks. And just so you guys know, I did order all of the pressed glitters that they just released. So let me know down below in the comments if you want a video on just those. I probably will do it either way. But I just got that whole like highlighter themed palette. So I will definitely do a video with that for you guys. Um, but I'm, they're killing it with the pressed glitters. I really, really like them. And I like that they kind of, it looks like a lot of the pressed glitters are kind of modeled after the, like in the same tones as some of their Glitterly Obsessed. So these are gonna be, I assume, the pressed glitters are gonna be eye safe. 
the glitter, glitterly obsessed art, um, but I use them on my eyes all the time. So I can't really say anything because I just will, I'll put anything, I'll give anything a go makeup wise all the time. <laughs> anyway, let's move on to something else. I feel like all of my favorites were used <laughs> in that tutorial, pretty much, pretty much all of them, but they're all new items and I don't try new items that often. Uh, but this guy I really want to talk about. Sorry, it's dirty, but I used it. And this is one of the Juno & Co velvet sponges. This arrived at my house. Don't know how they got my address or anything, um, but I'm okay with it. This thing is so cool. So cool. Like when I used it the first time I was using way too much foundation. It does not absorb product like any other beauty sponge. I use the Shop Miss A Wonder Blender all the time. It's my favorite. It's so soft. Uh, I use the Real Techniques one. I'll use the actual beauty blender. All of those will absorb some products, some more than others. This absorbs such minimal product that like you get a much more full coverage look. Like when I normally would use two pumps, I feel like I only need to use one pump of a foundation with this guy. It's just, I don't know what, I don't know. I'm sure like they have, this supposed to have an airbrush finish, slanted edge controls for stippling, buildable coverage fast. It just really gives you the most coverage out of any beauty sponge I have used. I did just get the Shop Miss A dupe of this. If you guys want a video comparing them, I definitely will do that for you. I'm going to film a Shop Miss A haul in just a minute, so we'll talk more about it in that video. But I just think this is so cool. But this guy's only like six bucks, so it's not like this is a huge expense. But I mean, if you can get it for cheaper or something similar for cheaper, I can tell you right now, feeling this one, it doesn't, I haven't taken it out of the package, but they don't look exactly the same. So I don't know. So one more thing that we're going to talk about. I can't remember if I put this in a favorites lately or not. If I have, I don't even care because that's how obsessed with it I am that we can talk about it more than once. Plus, I haven't been doing a favorites video every single month, so I feel like it's fine. Um, but I am still in love with this. I don't know if we've talked about, this is the Glam Glow Good in Bed Passion Fruit Softening Night Cream. This guy makes my face so soft. I always have a ton of texture and of course my texture has been better since I've been in school getting microderms and lactic peels that has really kept my texture under control. But in between those and like when I don't have time to get that done at school, this guy has really been making a difference. I feel like as long as I'm using it, if I use it consistently, I get the same results that I do from actually getting more intense treatments. Of course, I'd have to use this more often. This is expensive. This is like, I think it was $54, but I am so obsessed. I am so obsessed and I'm mad I'm obsessed because I'm gonna have to repurchase it when I'm out. I feel like I've been using it so much. There's still a decent amount of product in there. Given the little dip, it's you don't get as much product as the packaging is. It, it makes it look like you get more than you do. You guys, it smells so good. It smells like, it says passion fruit. I think it smells like passion fruit. I don't know. It's just so good. It's just so good. How do you make my skin so soft? Like it really does. Um, It's got AHAs and BHAs. I know that. I love being able to look at skincare and like understand. <laughs> understand now from being in school for aesthetics. Like understand what's in there and how it actually works. And it is kind of like a peel in a sense. But obviously any skincare that you can just like purchase at Sephora is not going to be as intense as like going to a spa and getting something done. But I definitely notice a difference with this. And it does do what it claims to do. It makes your skin so soft. Like I used it for the first time in a few nights last night and like it's not perfectly smooth, but I know if I use it for a couple more nights, it will be. Oh, it's just, it's just so good. It's so good. I can't say it enough. I can't, I'm, why are you so good? I hate that it's so good. I don't want to have to repurchase it. Anyway, loves, I think that is everything for my current beauty favorites. Let me know your current favorites down below. Thank you for bearing with me with my little emotional ramble. I don't even know what all I said, so that's going to be fun to edit. But hopefully you guys get it. Life just life just gets to you sometimes, and you just have to keep pushing. Um, but I just wanted to touch base with you guys and let you know that if I'm not 100% present, I'll be back. I'm not going anywhere. Um, and I love you guys so, 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 so much so much and I know that like 99% of you are you have my back and you will be there always and that just means the world I truly have the most supportive beautiful wonderful kind-hearted like supporters ever I'm so blessed okay well I'm going to stop rambling I love you guys so much thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you have not already hopefully you don't think I'm crazy if this is your first time ever watching one of my videos I'm an emotional being I'm sorry I just my heart's too big <laughs> it's too big always um but I love you guys so much. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Getting down, baby? Oh, scratch my leg. Oh, I have lash glue on my nail. 
I am a mess, you guys. Get it together, Shannon. Get it together. This has been like my, I have one hair all over me. 